All right, what's going on, guys? I'm back in the garage. It's been a long time since I've done a video, but it's been just busy with everything. So I'm in the garage today because it's cold and raining outside, and I've got to do some maintenance. Um, you guys know I've had tons of electric vehicles. I still have a Tesla. Been using this uh, charger to uh, to charge it. Uh, this one has been working fine, except for the fact that you see it's uh, coming apart. So it was time for a new charger. Uh, I have a NEMA 1450 plug here that uh, I've been using for this. If you remember when I had the Lightning, I had a, a charger that was mounted to the wall. That's what I was looking to get to replace this. So I reached out to Electron, who I did some work with when I had my Lightning. If you remember, they provided me with some adapters for fast charging and for AC charging. Those worked great. I used those exclusively on my trip to Michigan, which was about a 3,000 mile road trip in the Lightning. So I asked them kind of, you know, hey, what do you have? This is a wall mount option. So they sent me their V-Box Pro uh, 48 amp charging station. This is the NACS, uh, since I only have a Tesla and of course everything is gonna go to NACS in the future anyway. Uh, this is a 48 amp, if you hardwire it, and 40 amp charging station if you use the NEMA 1450 port. Now, I will tell you initially, I was planning on hardwiring this uh, and they have great instructions. The first thing that you see are the instructions to hardwire it, uh, which involves cutting open the supply power cord and taking those wires out. Just to be honest with you, that's not worth it for me. Uh, the difference in the charging speeds, uh, 40 amp is just fine. I don't want to, let's go ahead and open the box and I'll show you what's in here. So basically, you have to take the wires out of this NEMA 1450 plug. I honestly don't want to do that uh, because, you know, if I ever move the station, get rid of the station, uh, I don't want to have to try to rewire that. So I'm just going to use my existing 1450 plug. Uh, this is a wall mount that mounts on the wall for your NACS connector. So here's a mounting plate. So that'll just mount to the wall and then I'll mount the charger on that. So. Let's flip the charger over here and see what it looks like. Everything's extremely well packaged. Yeah, so here's what the unit looks like. Very sleek. Uh, it's got, got a long uh, cord here. This is the NACS cord for your Tesla. Uh, I am curious about something. Let's take a peek here. Oh, guys, this is, this, is, this is gold right here. So this has the Tesla, little Tesla button. If you have a Tesla, you know what this is. This gives you the ability to push the button and open the charge port, push the button and unlock the charge port. So when you get ready to leave, you press the button and you can pull this out of the Tesla. Now, the charger that I have over there now does not have this. So I have to get my phone out, I have to go to the Tesla app, and then I have to press unlock charge port to pull this out. So honestly, I didn't think this was gonna have this button. I'm really excited about that. that. That seems like something small, but I promise you it's not because that way you don't have to get your phone out of your pocket to uh, unplug the charger. So again, very nice looking unit. I expect this is gonna be an easy install. There's the power button here, and you can see all of the mounting points on the back. So let's just kind of take a look and see how this mounting plate is gonna work. Looks like we'll have four screws there. Oh yeah, that goes in there, and then there's some screws that go on the sides. Very nice. I'll be honest with you, I think for my setup here, I may not have all, both all four screws in there. I think I'm just probably gonna put these two screws in here, and uh, I think that will be plenty. This thing only weighs a few pounds, so. Guys, my garage is so dirty. So I'm just gonna put those two screws in there, mount it right there. All right, so I'm gonna get this old charger out of here and we'll start the install. All right guys, so got the old charger out. Let's get this flag out of the way here. Now, I'm, I'm leaving these wires here because I'm hopeful one day I may have another lightning. But for now, just put this mount up here. This is gonna be plenty strong enough to hold this. It's just gonna just gotta sit here. All right, guys, so I had to move my plate. I had it originally was gonna go right here, but my cord wasn't long enough to get to my NEMA plug here. So 
Just put a little two by four in here, give this something to mount to. I only put two screws in here. I changed the screws out because uh, I don't like Phillips head screws and that's what it came with, but uh, they'd be fine. Um, but anyway, that seems really sturdy. So I think two screws is going to be fine. So we're going to get this put on here. So this is just going to slide over these mounts and then uh, four screws are going to secure this to the plate. Got it mounted up here and uh, it is very secure. So no issues there. Uh, anyway, so that's what it looks like mounted on the wall. So there, got the plug uh, in here and got that kind of out of the way cords a little thick and it's a little cold outside so it's uh not really pliable but if you ever deal with big cords like rv cords or things like that that's how those go so it's plugged in now let's just go ahead and turn it on make sure it's going to work it'll only work if i turn the breaker on all right there we go all right, guys, so just kind of un unwrap the cord here and put it around. Uh, it fits fine. I got, I'll be honest, I'm not sure I'm going to mount that little holder. All it does is just gives you somewhere to plug this end into. I don't think I'm going to use it, to be honest with you. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Honestly, normally when I use this, I uh, leave the car outside. This truck is uh, usually in this stall most of the time. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. It's got a cover right here to put over the uh, the connector anyway. So I don't think I'm even gonna mount that, guys. Guys, that's it. Uh, I literally cut a two by four. Now, granted, I have studded walls. This is not finished. If you have sheetrock, you're gonna have some more work. If you don't have a 1450 plug, you're gonna have some more work uh, that you probably are gonna have to get done by an electrician unless you know how to do that stuff. But uh, for me, this install was really easy. Uh, the unit looks good. It's pretty sleek up against the wall. doesn't stick out very far. And it looks a lot better than the one that I had just kind of hanging. And then, of course, it was, it was falling apart, too. So, all right, we're going to download the app and see what that's all about. I'm going to get the Tesla out here also. We're going to plug that in. Just make sure we get 40 amps, uh, see what the charging speeds are. And then I'll check back with you here in just a second. So I've been charging for a minute. Another little cool thing I found in the in the bag there were these little covers to go over the screw holes. So you can see here, this one is off. This one is on. So you just kind of pop that on right there and totally blacks it out. So that's pretty neat. So this is the Electron app. Um, it's got a lot of different stuff. You can put your information in there. Uh, you can, you know, set like how much it costs you to charge and things like that. Teslas do that as well, but this, uh, you can set this up to share. Um, you can charge people to use this station. Lots of different options, obviously scheduling features and things like that. Uh, this is just going to be used for my home, uh, so nothing fancy for this. You do not need the app uh, for this to work. I have actually not downloaded the app yet, and it is charging just fine. Go to the Tesla here, you see we're getting 9 kilowatts uh, at 40 amps, 245 volts. So it's working great. Um, the only other thing I wanted to try, and this is the moment of truth, I want to see if I push this button, if it lets me unplug. So if you don't have a Tesla, uh, you may not know this, but this is locked in. Like you can't take this out, okay? Um, and there's nothing you can do unless you unlock the charge port. A Tesla has a button here that you press and then you can unlock it and it and remove it. So I'm hoping this does the same thing. Here we go, guys. We're going to see. Oh, that's worth it right there. That is that is nice. I did notice that this button does not open the charge port. Um, you With the Tesla uh, charger, you press that button, it opens the charge port. It is not doing that. Of course, if you have your phone in your pocket, you can do that. But just the ability to remove it is the main thing for me because a lot of times I'll have this plugged in. My wife, you know, has the, has the phone in her purse and she wants to unplug it and then she can't because there's no way to release it without the phone. So that is, uh, that is nice. All right, guys, so that is the charger. My garage is a mess, and I'm sorry about that, but clean and quick install. Just got to clean up my mess over here. Uh, again, lots of instructions on how to set up everything. 
Uh, again, this is this is Wi-Fi, so you can do a lot of stuff from the app uh, as far as tracking your spending on charging, allowing other people to charge, things like that. So a, a variety of uses. So I'm not going to utilize a lot of the features uh, that this thing has because I live by myself. But if you lived in like maybe, a, I don't know, some place that had a shared charging or something like that, there's lots of options with this charger. So if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting something like this. Uh, I've had great experiences with Electron. This is the probably the third product I've had from them over the years. Uh, they've got great customer service. Uh, so if anything ever happens, uh, I, I feel confident they would take care of you. But uh, as you can see, we opened this one up, just plugged it right in, and it just started working. And that's what you want. You don't want to have to do a whole lot of stuff. So if you're looking for a charger, guys, check this one out. Link is in the description below.